Home to perhaps the loudest fans in the NFL, Century Link Field is the site for this matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Partner, we've got an offense that loves to air it out, going against a defense that can shut down the passing game most weeks. What gives? Yeah, when you talk about a defense that can stop the passing game, what we're really talking about, Jim, is a defense that can rush the passer. If you give this offense a little time to throw it, I think the skill outside is better than the defensive backs. I think they can win if they give the quarterback the time. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Defense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Second down and 13. He's got a wide open alley. He stacked up at that point. When you talk about dynamic plays in the NFL, you talk about pass plays that are over 20 yards and running plays that are over 10. Well, that was a lot more than 10 yards. That is an explosive play for the offense at time. First down following the long play. They deck him in the backfield. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yards. Second down coming up. The give to the running back. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, these plays do look ugly, but they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. Wilson from the shotgun. Going across the middle. Reed is there and has the pick. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Frank Gore gets it here. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That's second down coming up. Trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football? Good call that time by the offense. Second down. 
Kaepernick got the football after the play fake. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Oh, uh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. First and ten, Kaepernick sells the play fake and looks downfield. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment but could not pick it off cleanly. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Gore is going to receive the toss. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third and three. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. The offense got to be happy with that. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Staying with the running game on first down. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The long drive continues. Second and 11. Play action fake. Looking to throw getting away from the pressure. Ball is out. He's brought to a halt. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. Play after play after play here on this drive. Now it's a third and 13 on the spot. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield, setting up a little screen. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Good job that time by the defense. They give up the long drive, but on fourth down, they come through. What a good play call, and they stop the offense. First down here. Counter run here. Got a little crease. The Seahawks now move the chains. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We'll be back from Seattle for the start of the second after the break. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And they can't connect. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Second down coming up. He'll fire it out to the left. Has the reception all alone. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. 
Hey, nice route by the wide receiver that time. Good throw by the quarterback. It reminds me of the days with the Miami Dolphins. Paul Warfield running those corner routes and Bob Greasy putting it right on target. Let's see how they back up the big play here. The play clock's running down. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. This play set up by the long gainer. They feed the running back. Picks up about eight. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Second and three after that last carry. They hand it off to him again to the right. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That's a bread-and-butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. First and ten. Ahmad Brooks brings the quarterback down. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. The big sack pushes them back into a second and 22 situation. Second and 22. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Now there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Looking across the middle, incomplete. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not and it's another incomplete pass. Offense lines up here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The tackle was made. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down, you get it. I'll give you that, but I still think it was a bad decision. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And he's in for the touchdown. There's the signal from the far side. It is a touchdown. He broke the plane. He broke the plane from just a yard away. Steven Hauska ready for the kickoff. at the 18-yard line. Colin Kaepernick, under center. Now first and 10. Here's the quick toss to the running back, bringing the play to an end. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Coming up, second down. Gore goes to the left, picks up five. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. 
going to take off with it. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. That time, awesome job by avoiding the sack by the quarterback. Gets out of trouble, gets outside. Hey, even though he doesn't get a completion, good job avoiding the negative yards. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. Looking for an open receiver on the run. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Crabtrees in the slot. Kaepernick from the gun. To Vernon Davis. Able to get a step on the defender, and he makes the catch. Anytime you get in the red zone, you just want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. That reception gave them the first down. And the give to Frank Gore. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. They've got them behind a line of scrimmage. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Offense lines up here. Third and goal at the six. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. And gains maybe four. Oh, man, he almost gets in the end zone so close to getting over the goal line. Goal. Here's the quick toss into the end zone for the touchdown. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this, they have to make the call on fourth and goal. He goes for it and they get it. The PAT sails wide here. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Split backfield here. First and ten. Into the open flat. Sticks to his hands. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. Well, that was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Back at the line after that catch for a first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Russell Wilson was targeting Sidney Rice with that throw. It's really simple. 
Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. And he's taken down. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you gotta help him out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? And he's intercepted. He steps out. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Defense time. First and ten. Action fake. Throws to the right. Ball's picked off. Nice tackle. Most NFL linebackers were borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive back. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. First down. Go run it. Here's the handoff. Steps out of bounds. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. Here's the first snap after the big play. He had no time to get set. And that's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back from the Emerald City for the start of the second half in Seattle after the break. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks are leading by nine. They're setting up the return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down here. The second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. It's now second down. He gets to toss. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for a little game. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third and nine. Throws the pass. That pass was hurried. Lines up here. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Kaepernick able to find Mario Manningham. I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunate for them, they got it that time. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. And 
and he hauls it in. He's going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10, in stride, and he's home for the touchdown. It was a short route by the receiver. He catches it and goes all the way down the field and scores the touchdown. And the quarterback looks at the coach and goes, hey, it was a heck of a throw. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. First down and 10. Here's the running play. Off tackle. They pounce on him there. The Seahawks will use a timeout here early in the second half. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down here after the run. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Looking for Percy Harvin, but it's incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback. And the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Going across the middle. He's a foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10. No stopping him from taking it all the way home for the touchdown. you got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Pass is intercepted. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. The 49ers in kickoff return formation.
breaks the tackle. The 49ers line up in the pistol offense. Kaepernick from the gun. The defense gets the sack. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time they blitz. It was quick. It was fast. And they get a sack on the quarterback. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from. Falls out. This one's going back the other way. In on the stop. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side. And that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder. And that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Will go ground. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Second and goal from the five. He'll go. It's a touchdown. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer is more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They've had the lead with that touchdown. for the two. Now, put an additional two points on the board as they convert. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. The 49ers call timeout and they'll have two remaining. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. But a flag is in there. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking to The last thing you wanted to do First here down. was kick it out of bounds. First down, offense readying for the snap. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corner. Check ball is out, and it's a takeaway. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing the hit 